Hello, my name is Michael McCurry. I'm going to be going over um, the different things we covered this week, the topics, uh, <clears throat> the topics, the you know the videos we discussed, um, just what I found useful, what I was found challenging, um, things of that nature. Um, yeah, so let's let's get into it, I guess. Um, so things we covered, we went over. I guess the big thing was if else statements. We really we went over those um a lot this week uh it was a really important subject um this week felt a little bit easier because i'm really familiar with ifl statements i'm really good with ifl statements um you know i you know i think they're really useful and um i just i just i'm very comfortable and familiar with those um yeah so we went over a bunch of different case studies which i found pretty interesting like the body mass index one or Competing taxes, which is always useful since it's tax season. Actually, tax season just ended, but um, yeah, it's really useful. Um, some uh, if else statements and, if, and nested if else statements; those are pretty easy and multi-way if else statements. Um, you know, again, super useful and really easy to learn or really easy to use. Something that I really did have a you know a lot of trouble with was the conditional operators. The conditional operators I find it pretty difficult to learn because it's still like a new thing I haven't seen yet, and so I find it pretty difficult to learn to understand on you know the different things you could do with them. I guess I, I know that they are meant to kind of be a secondary option to if else statements, but I found I just found them to be very challenging because it just wasn't clicking how the things I could do in the order I could do them in. And that kind of that really kind of messed me up on the quizzes um, for this week. Um, switch statements also I found very interesting. I think switch statements are incredibly useful, and I you know I kind of wish we had to learn a little bit more about them other than just rather than just one chapter because switch statements I think can be really really useful and I really like how just how things work with them and what they do. Um, you know I think the case idea is pretty interesting. I like how it really just cycles through each and every one until you hit a break and I liked it a lot um debugging debugging is you know a super simple process but sometimes it's not so simple sometimes it can be really hard to figure out what is you know what's wrong and oftentimes you really have to break it down line by line code by code because if you don't then you're gonna get um you know uh, you know it's just gonna be very hard to figure out what you did wrong um, something that I type typically use when I'm debugging is I do a lot of print if else state or print statements. Um, you know, I like to break down, okay, what is happening with this code before I do it. I really like doing that and that's, that's how I do it. But then, and, but I haven't really done a lot of big, big projects yet. Like I haven't really done a lot of, you know, hundreds of lines of codes worth, code worth of project yet. So, you know, I haven't really had to use anything else other than the printing but the uh what was it uh but the debugging tool also is really good uh it's really useful i've only i've used it a couple times i think it's you know it's helpful but i don't really understand it yet and i haven't really had to use it too much yet um of the videos that i found to be pretty useful the nested if else statement video was very useful i thought because something i didn't really get too much in python was nested nested loops and nested if else statements because I just I just didn't understand how to use them I guess um you know like if one condition is true then it goes on to the next and then so on and so forth but I just I'm still a little rusty on nested if else statements and I still want to learn more about them and yeah I think that that concludes this week's video thank you